Hey, yo, what's up, bro? Yo, baby, it's the boss king, baby. I'm not supposed to do that shit, bro. Like, nah, that, that shit hurts me, bro. That shit hurts me. It doesn't actually hurt, bro. I'm just capping. But anyways, hey, that, that. What's up, bro? baby, it's the boss king, baby. Back here with another video. And today, bro, y'all see I'm learning a game, bro. Yeah, if y'all if look back to the previous videos, yesterday's videos, I, I was watching the rules of... NFL American football because I didn't understand the game and now I'm watching basketball NFL NFL football American football <clears throat> not very common here in South Africa I'm pretty sure there are some schools or some institutions whatever you know what I'm saying that that play with that play the sport but it's not very very common it's not very easy to find but basketball is very easy to find I know I live in a small town less than ten thousand people I'd say and they is basketball. Them, them niggas go, go in tournaments. They go, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, basketball is more of a worldwide thing, more than American football. But anyways, I have to understand the sport so I can react to it. I can react to the moments, funny moments, whatever the fuck it is. Anyways, let's just get into it. Before we get into it, y'all make sure you hit the subscribe button. Join the Royal Babies, the biggest. No, join the Royal Babies because I am Royal, you are Royal. Yeah, let's go. I hope I'm recording this shit. I don't even know. I don't even know if I'm recording there. I just gotta trust myself. If I'm not, it's gonna be sad. It explains the rules of basketball. I don't know if I'm. Shit, I'm checking. Yep, we recording. We recording. We recording. The object of the game is for your team to score more points than the opposing team. Ah, uh, that's the same as NFL. Same as any other sport. It's for my team. To get more points than you. Teams are made up of 15 players with five players on the basketball. Hey, Kevin Durant! Kevin Durant! Or attending one time. They consist of two forwards, two guards, and a center. Alright. The game starts with a tip off. Once someone has won possession of the ball, they have up to 24 seconds to shoot the ball towards the opponent's basket. These baskets are 10 feet above the ground on oh, a court that's. Shit, I don't know about that time, that time, that time uh, bound. You know what I mean? Time. I wouldn't say time spent, it's time bound, you know what I mean? Because if you can't do it at this point, like, Generally it's time bound, 94 though, feet it's long by 50 feet wide time span. and varies depending on where you play. To move the ball up the court, you can either pass the ball to a teammate or dribble the ball where you bounce the ball up and down repeatedly whilst in motion. To score points, a player must shoot the ball into the opponent's basket. You get two I know, points. I know that's two points inside three outside i know that ever ever know it's for any shot scored within this arc if a player scores from a shot outside this arc three this points. scores three points oh australia any oh that's just as i said bro a lot of people bro australia this is america america bro goes hard so i don't know playing against them is very risky but hey doesn't mean you can't win you know what i mean free throws that are awarded to your team scores one point Failing to shoot the ball within 24 seconds results in a shot clock violation and the other team is awarded possession shot of the ball. Shot clock violation. Shot clock. Oh, there's a song called Shot Clock. Oh! Who sings the song? LMA, some shit like that. I don't the know opposing team will try and take the ball off you by either blocking shots, rebounding missed shots, or by stealing the ball away from an opposing player so that they can score themselves. The game is played in four 12-minute quarters in the NBA. Wait, what, 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 what's a in shot clock? internationally or two 20 minute halves in the NCAA and the highest score at the end of time wins there are no ties in basketball so if the scores are tied at the end of regular, but I know what's a shot clock but what happens you know what I mean normally when you if you fail to do something or you do something wrong in sports there's a consequences I, I didn't hear what happens that comment down below overtime back. periods will be played to determine the winner Wow, that was the shortest video ever. Oh. Unfortunately, it doesn't stop there. Whilst basketball is an easy game to understand, I've just explained the basic concept of the game. There are a lot of things in basketball that you're not allowed to do. So to make it easy for you to understand, there are generally two types of things you can't do. Violations and fouls. Violations are generally called when you break one of the rules. The main violations include shot clock violation. As earlier stated, your team has 24 seconds in which to shoot the ball. If you're not shot the ball within this time, shot, shot clock violation is called and the ball is awarded to the other team. Oh, that's the that's consequence I was looking for. Yeah, double means. dribble. In basketball, you're only allowed to dribble the ball and stop once. If a player then begins to dribble again, 
This is known as double dribble, and the ball is awarded to the other team. Oh. Traveling. If a player takes too many steps without dribbling the ball, this is traveling. And surprise, surprise. Oh, so, so, oh, listen. So if I'm coming, I don't have much, I don't have a lot of space in my room. But if I'm coming, right? Shit, I don't, I don't know. I'm not very athletic in basketball. But if I'm coming, you know what I mean? Y'all can hear me, right? If I'm coming, God, God, I stop over here. I must, like, pass the ball or shoot, you know what I mean? I can't go get it and start double dribbling, dribbling, whatever the fuck you call it. You know what I mean? I, I understand, I understand. I hope I'm right. The ball is awarded to the other team. Three in the key. A player cannot stay in the key, which is this section of the court, for more than three seconds. Charging. Oh. A violation in which the attacking player cool. runs into a stationary defender. That's Possession cool. of the ball is awarded to the defending team. There are other violations that I've included a brief description of here, but the ones I've previously nah, mentioned yeah, are the we ones you're really most likely to encounter in a game. Fouls. Fouls are the most complicated thing to understand in basketball, but I'll try to explain this in the easiest way I know how. There are three types of fouls. Personal fouls, flagrant fouls, and technical fouls. Technical Personal ball. fouls occur when a player commits illegal contact against another player. Imagine two players, an attacking player with a ball, right. and a defending player without the ball. Mm -hmm. Now imagine two giant cylinders that surround them that extend from the floor to the ceiling. Neither of these two players is allowed to encroach in each other's cylindrical space. Oh. If an attacking player makes contact with a defender in his space, then it's called an offensive foul against the attacker. If a defender makes contact with an attacker in his space, then it's called a defensive foul against the defender. Any foul in the act of shooting results in free throws being awarded to the attacking team. Two shots for fouls inside the arc, and three shots for fouls outside the arc. If the shot went in and the shooter was fouled, the points they scored count, and they are awarded one extra shot. Flagrant Dang. fouls. Dang. Flagrant fouls are severe fouls that occur when a player has made violent contact against another player. This always results in the other team being awarded two free throws. Technical fouls. Australia. Foul. The Aussies. I love the Aussies. Technical fouls are fouls that don't fit the description of either a personal or flagrant foul. Technical fouls can be awarded for fighting, unsportsmanlike conduct, or abuse from players and coaches against referees. Two technical fouls equals an automatic hey, ejection from the game. Any team that commits five or more fouls in any quarter will have three throws sure awarded not. against them per subsequent foul. And hey, anyone? Kobe, hey, RIP. RIP the legend. RIP, I will take a five second moment of silence for Kobe. One foul. Um, and right here. Let's take a five second moment of silence, you know what I mean? Hey, let's go, bro. Hey, I'm and any cool. one player who has racked up five fouls internationally or six fouls in the NBA Ron is fouled Ron out James. and can no longer participate in the rest of the game. This is a lot to take in, especially understanding how the fouls work. But as you watch or play basketball, the rules will become clear. If you have found this video at all helpful, please like, share with your friends, rate and comment. If you're also on Reddit, please post this video and- Oh shit, hey, that is it for the video, bro. You know what I mean? Hey, I mean, it's, I understand, cool. I learned two things today. Two things. I, I learned biology. I went to school, so I learned biology. And I learned basketball and NFL today. So, hey, I mean, my brain, my brain kind of- I bring kind of fool. I think I'm ready for the for the for the for the shit. Hold on, hold on. I think I'm ready for the outside world or the the grown world, the, the adult world. I don't know what the fuck am I talking about, bro. Y'all make sure you hit the subscribe button. Y'all join the royal babies, cause I am royal. You are royal. Dave said that is it for the video. Peace.